Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, today I'm actually coming to you from an outside location here at Chestwood Village uh, for a program I call it On Balance. And On Balance is going to be a program where we are going to be actually physically working on the muscles that help us work on our balance, but then also something called proprioceptive movement. And that's where we're going to be moving our body uh, and balancing within a relation to space. Now, a lot of our movements are going to be done seated right here from a chair, but then a lot of our movements are also going to be done standing up out of the chair. So we're going to try to get the best of both worlds. Now, a couple quick key notes. As with any type of exercise program, I want you guys to make sure that you're paying attention to your bodies. If you start to experience any type of dizziness, uh, any joint pain, any muscular pain, uh, really anything that makes you feel uncomfortable while you're exercising today, I want you to stop, sit down in the chair, and then reassess yourself. If after a minute or two of just resting, you feel like it's appropriate for you to kind of get back into the exercise program, don't hesitate. Give it a try and see how you do. But if your symptoms continue to last, the pain, the dizziness, I want you to stop and uh, take a break for the session and then try it again another time, okay? But when we go through our workout today, we're gonna to get started with our warm up. then we're gonna follow it up by our primary exercise movements, and then we're gonna follow it with a good cool down. So what I like everybody to do first, I want you to take a nice deep breath in, sit up nice and tall in your chair, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna relax them on top of our thigh and we're gonna focus on our shoulder rolls. We're going to start with 10 shoulder rolls backwards and then 10 shoulder rolls forward. So here we go. And remember, gang, as we roll those shoulders, I want you to focus on the control of your movement, not necessarily the speed. And a quick modification is if these shoulder rolls hurt going backwards, just think about your shoulders going up to your ears. There's five, six, seven, eight. Nine, one more time here, and ten. We're gonna stop, keep those shoulders down on level. Now we're reverse directions going forward. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, everybody. Now continue to sit up nice and tall. We're gonna keep those hands relaxed on top of our thighs. And again, we're still working on maintaining good upright posture here. We're gonna go through some stretches for our necks and our shoulders, but we're gonna start by taking our chin and bringing it down to our chest. Now for each one of these neck stretches that we're gonna go through, we're gonna hold each one for a count of five. So we're gonna start by taking our chin down to our chest. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, lift your chin. Now we're gonna take our chin and we're gonna bring it over top of our left shoulder. So rotate your head as far as you feel comfortable. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Chin rotates forward. Now we're gonna take our chin over top of our right shoulder. Again, rotate as far as you feel comfortable. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, rotate your head forward. Now we're gonna take our left ear and we're gonna drop it down towards our left shoulder. As we drop that ear to our shoulder, we're gonna think about our right ear going up towards the ceiling. We're gonna to try to keep your shoulders nice and level. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Head upright, good posture. Now we're gonna go right ear to right shoulder, left ear up to the sky. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Head upright. Take a nice deep breath in. Now everybody, we're gonna go into a nice march in place. As we're marching in place, we're keeping our shoulders down. Elbows are moving forward and backwards and working on picking our feet up off the floor. Now when I'm sitting here marching in place, I'm not driving my heel to the floor, I'm driving my toes so I don't cause any absorption up through my bones. There we go. Keep it up. We're going to be marching in place here for about 30 seconds. Right at halfway point. Keep it up. Good job, everybody. Keep working on it. And relax. Now, I'm going to have everybody take a deep breath in, and we're actually going to stand up behind our chair. We're going to hold on to the back of our seat backs. We're going to be doing what's called a standing hip abduction. So again, take a deep breath in. Go ahead and stand up out of your chair and come behind your seat. Now what I'm going to do so you guys can see me, okay, is I'm actually gonna move the chair backwards just a little bit. 
and I will have my hand holding onto the side. I'm gonna start with my right leg, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my leg out to the side, and then bring it right back in the center. Now as I do so, I'm keeping strength in my left side hip all the way down to through my heel, okay? We're going through this movement five times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring it all back in. Now I'm gonna to switch to the left side of my chair. My right side hip now stays strong and steady. It's gonna be my left leg that's working. Again, I'm gonna have my hands lightly holding onto the back of the chair, going for a count of five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring it all back in, take a deep breath in, and have a seat back in your chair, please. All right, gang, good job. So now what we're gonna do is, now we're kinda of done with our warm up. we're gonna go into our primary movements. So the very first primary move we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called a seated knee lift. We're gonna pick our knee up, we'll have our foot suspended up off the floor, and then we're gonna to try to create an extension through our, heat, through our knee, pressing our heel forward, then driving our heel back in, then setting our foot back down to the ground. The whole entire idea with this is work on trying to keep that knee elevated the whole entire time, so it takes our thigh from being parallel to bringing it above parallel. We're gonna try doing this five times for each leg. We're not gonna alternate though. So we're gonna pick our right knee up, heels up off the floor, extend that lower leg forward for one, bring it back in, foot comes down. Knee up, extend, two, back in, and down. Good job. Knee up, extend, three, back in, down. Knee up, extend for four, back in, and down. Good job, we've got one more here. Knee up, extend, back in, down. Nice work, everybody. Now we're gonna switch from our right leg over to our left. And remember, as we're going through this, we're gonna sit up nice and tall with good posture. So we're gonna take that left knee, pick it up, extend, back in for one. Good job. Knee up, extend, back in for two, good work. Knee up, extend, back in for three, good work. Knee up, extend, back in for four, good work everybody, last one here. Knee up, extend, back in for five, nicely done. Take a nice deep breath in. And now again, we're gonna go back into a seated march in place, but with our seated march in place, I'm gonna call out periodic holds. So what's going to happen is going to look like this. We're going to go like this. I'm going to say hold, and all of a sudden you're going to freeze your movement. And I'm going to say resume, and then we're going to resume our movement, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a few holds, and they're going to be intermittent. They're going to be at random. So I want you to make sure you're paying attention and having good listening. So again, our bottom marching in place. Good job, everybody. Keep setting up nice and tall, arms and legs driving, and hold. Resume. Good job. And when we hold, we want to try to hold our bodies like a mannequin. We want to be completely still in position. And hold. And resume. Good work. Good job. Now I want you to work on picking up your speed of march. Try to go a little bit quicker. And hold. Resume. Good job. Keep it up. And hold. Resume. Good work. Let's try to get a couple more times in here. Hold, keep holding, and resume. Good job. Keep marching in place, keep marching in place. And hold, and relax. Good job, everybody. Sit up nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath in. Now what we're gonna do next is we'll have everybody take one more deep breath in. We're gonna stand up behind our chairs and we're gonna work on what's called a reverse lunge. And I'm gonna demonstrate the move before I want you guys to do it. So we're gonna stand up behind our chair, and I'm gonna get a side profile view so you guys can see what this looks like. So I'm gonna have my hands lightly resting on the back of the chair, I'm gonna have my feet up right behind the seat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my left foot forward, and I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna step it back, because it's gonna give you a better view of, of, of what the movement's gonna look like. So I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna step it back, putting my toes on the ground, keeping my heel up. And right now you can see I've got a little bit of a bend in my right knee. My left front knee also has a little slight bend in it too. It's not completely straight. 
Now what's going to happen is we'll think about this back right knee coming down to the ground. I'm going to drive up through my hip, bring my body back to standing. Then I'm going to bring my feet back together. Okay. Now the modification for this, if stepping forward and backward doesn't feel comfortable, go ahead and get your body already in this lunge position. That way when we go down, we go to our position here, then we drive right back up through the hip, keep your feet stationary. Don't worry about driving back forward, okay? Especially if you feel your balance is a little bit suspect. So what I want everybody else to do though, is we're gonna go through five times for each leg. We're not gonna alternate, we're gonna just stick with one leg, okay? So again, we're going to take our right foot, we're going to step back, get our foot in position, drop our hip down as low as you feel comfortable, drive back up through the hip, feet come forward, there's one. Step back, hip drops down, come up tall, there's two. Step back, hip drop down, come back up for three. Step back, come down, up for four. Last time here. Step back, come down, up for five. Good job, everybody. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch sides here. And what I'm gonna do with my chair is I'm just gonna switch the overall uh, side of it. That way you can see my leg moving a little bit better. Being at home, you guys don't have to worry about that. Just go ahead and switch your legs. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right foot, keep it forward, my left foot's gonna step back. So again, I'm holding onto the back of the chair, foot steps back, hip drop down, Come up tall, feet together for one. Hip step back, drop down, feet together. Step back, hip drop down, up for four. Good job, this is our last one here. Step back, hip drop down, up for five. Good job, everybody. Now, we're gonna stay standing, okay? And what we're gonna do is what's called a standing leg curl. So our movement is going to be where I'm still holding on to the back of the chair. And what I'm going to do for intensive purposes, since my chair is a little bit shorter, I'm actually going to stay standing for this one without holding on. Make sure at home you hold on to a countertop or a sturdy, taller chair, okay? But I'm going to focus on keeping my legs relatively straight. My feet are going to be about the width of my hip. I'm going to take my left heel, I'm going to curl up to the back of my hip and my thigh stays pointing down to the ground, okay? Now what you're going to have to make sure you do with this, you're going to have to keep this right leg nice and strong from the hip through the knee to the ankle, okay? We don't want to let it, where we go like this, all of a sudden our hip collapses, okay? So what we're going to do with this, we're going to go through 10 repetitions, and then we're going to switch sides, okay? So we're standing up nice and tall, take that heel curl up and back, here we go. One, back down. Two, back down. Three, back down, up, four, back down, up, five, back down, up, six, back down, up, seven, back down, up, eight, back down, up, nine, back down, last one, up, ten, back down, good job, very nice and easy, march those legs in place for me. Get that blood redistributed. Good work, very good work. Now again, I'm just gonna take my chair, I'm gonna redistribute it over here to my left side. And now I'm gonna be focusing on my right leg. Again, being at home, you don't have to worry about rearranging the chairs. I'm just doing that for demonstration purposes. So now we're gonna take that right foot, bring it up and back, here we go. One, back down. Up, two, back down. Focus on that knee pointing straight to the ground. Up, three, back down, up four, back down, up five, back down, up six, back down, up seven, back down, up eight, back down, up nine, back down, last time here, up 10, back down. Good job, everyone. Nice and easy, march in place. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a squat with an overhead reach, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with both of our hands resting on the back of our chair. With your feet, I want you to make sure you keep your feet about the width of your hips and your toes pointing straight ahead. 
You don't have to worry about turning your toes out to the side or have your feet out wider. Just work on trying to keep your feet about the width of your hip, okay? Now, what's gonna happen when we go through our movement? We're gonna let our hip drop back and down in a fashion like this. We're gonna think about our hip, we're gonna push it to the wall behind us, we're gonna let our chest start to fall forward, and then when we start letting that hip drop down, we're gonna start letting our knees bend, we'll think about our hip pushing to the wall behind us, and then we'll drive back up through our heels, drive up through our hip, coming back up to standing, okay? Now we're gonna add a nuance to this by alternating, taking our arms and reaching them up overhead. So our move is gonna look like this. I'm gonna drop my hip down. When I come back up, I'm gonna take one arm, reach it up overhead, come back down, reset. Go into my squat, opposite arm reaches up, and then come back down. I want you to try to work on a full lengthening of your body as you get that overhead reach, okay? Only go up to a height with your shoulder that feels comfortable. If it starts to hurt your shoulder, don't worry about reaching it all the way up to the ceiling. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go five times for each side, but that's 10 squats overall. So get your body ready. We're gonna start with our right arm. Here we go. Go into your squat, right arm reach. One, come all the way back down. Squat, left arm reach. There's one, come back down. Squat, right arm reach. There's two, come back down. Squat, left arm reach, two, come back down. Squat, right arm reach, there's three, come back down, good work everybody. Squat, left hand reach, there's three, come back down. Squat, right arm reach, there's four, come back down. Squat, left arm reach, four, come back down. Last series here. Squat, right arm reach, there's five, come back down. Last time here, squat, left arm reach, arm comes back down. Take a nice deep breath in. Good job, everybody. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a seat back in your chair. When you bring yourself back into your chair, have your hip about midpoint. Don't have your body all the way back. We don't want your back actually touching the chair for this one. We actually want to have a little bit of space created. The next move we're going to do is actually call it a trunk lean. And what we're going to do is we're going to go forward and then backward. But when we go forward and backward, we'll include each of those positions for a three second count before we transition to the next side, okay? What I like you to do is I want you to bring your feet a little bit closer together so your knees are about hip width apart. We're going to take our arms, hold them across our chest, keep them in close. Sitting up nice and tall, good, perfect posture here. We're gonna take our shoulders, we're gonna lean them forward over top of our thighs. We're gonna hold for one, two, three. We're gonna transition, leaning backwards, holding for one, two, three. Then bring our torso upright and vertical, okay? Now what we're gonna do with this is we're actually gonna do 10 for each forward and backward movement, okay? So we're gonna get 30 seconds of hold overall between the two movements. If for whatever reason you start feeling some discomfort in your lower back, go ahead and stop the movement, okay? But for everybody else, give it the best shot that you possibly can. So arms come across our chest, we're sitting up nice and tall. Let your chest lean forward, holding for one, two, three. Recline back, hold for one, two, three. Sit up tall, reset. Lean forward for one, two, three. Recline all the way back, holding for one, two, three, up tall. There's two. Lean forward, holding for one, two, three. Good job, everybody. Lean back, holding for one, two, three, up tall. Good job, everybody. Lean forward, holding for one, two, three. Lean back, holding for one, two, three, up nice and tall. Good work. Lean forward for one, two, three. Lean back, holding for one, two, three. Up tall, we're midway point. Lean forward for one, two, three. Lean back, holding for one, two, three. Up tall, there's six. Lean forward for one, two, three. Lean back, holding for one, two, three. Three. Sit up tall. There's seven. We got three more. 
lean forward for one, two, three, lean back, one, two, three, up tall, there's eight, we got two more. Lean forward for one, two, three, lean back, one, two, three, good job, up nice and tall. Last one through here, three second hold, three second hold, here we go. Lean forward for one, two, three. Go ahead and lean back, holding for one, two, three. Sit up nice and tall, relax his arms, take a nice deep breath in. Good job, everybody. That movement right there is really designed to help work on our center of mass, controlling what our upper body is doing in relation to our hip on the chair and our feet down on the ground, okay? Both static points of contact for our base of support, okay? Now our next movement is actually gonna be something a little different here. So what I'd like you to do is I want you to bring your hip a little bit closer to the edge of the chair. We're gonna have where your feet are just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart on this, okay? Now what you're gonna do for me is we're gonna bring those hands here in front of our chest and our shoulders, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right hand, for example, we're gonna press it across to the left hand side, trying to get a straight line from our shoulder through our elbow to our wrist. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a big sweeping motion Big circular motion, bringing our hand right back into our shoulder, okay? And then we're gonna switch over left arm, reach, torso rotation, big arm reach overhead, bring our arm back into its original position, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, because this is a big, huge upper body stretch, we're gonna do five times for each side. Do the best that you possibly can for your shoulder. If this big arcing movement bothers it, don't worry about that. Just work on getting that rotation and just pulling that arm right back in toward your chest and your shoulder, okay? So when everybody else sit up nice and tall, we're gonna start that right arm, press across, get that torso rotation, big overhead reach. Bring that arm all the way up the side, bring it right back in your chest. Good job, there's one, left arm press, big reach overhead. Get that arm to extension, pull it right back into your chest. Good job, there's a sequence of one. Right arm press across the body, big overhead reach. Bring the hand back in. Now if you notice, I'm letting my eyes follow my hand as it goes to that overhead arc, okay? So I'm going to left arm reach across to the right, big reach overhead, pull my arm right back in. There's sequence two. Right arm reach to the left, big overhead reach. When the eyes follow the hand, pull the hand right back into your shoulder. Left arm reach to the right, big overhead reach. Come all the way back into the chest and shoulder, there's sequence three. Right arm press across the left, horse rotation, big overhead reach. Pull that hand back into your chest and your shoulder. Left arm presses to the right, big overhead reach. Right hand back into your chest and shoulder, your sequence four, okay? Now we're going on to our last sequence here. Right arm press to the left, big overhead reach. All the way come back in, right hand back to chest and shoulder. Last time here, left arm press to the right, Big overhead reach. Come all the way back in. Relax his arms, take a nice deep breath in. Good work, everybody. That should make your shoulders feel a little bit tired, especially on the posterior side of it, okay? And that's completely fine. All it is, just those muscles stretching out. Now, the next move that we're gonna be going into is we're gonna be going into a seated knee lift with an opposite arm rotation, okay? Again, this is gonna focus a lot on our center of mass here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our feet a little bit closer together. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna drop our arms out to the side of our hip, okay? If your arm has chair, or your uh, chair has arms on, excuse me, just take your arms and just drape them to the outside of those arms. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right arm, we're gonna lift it out to the side with a hand about the height of our shoulder. We're gonna take our left foot and we're gonna pick it up. And now we're balancing on essentially two points of contact, our right foot and our hip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to sit up nice and tall, good posture here, and we're gonna start rotating our right arm forward. As we go through this, we're working on keeping the rest of our body as still as possible, okay? Now, when everybody stop for just a second, that was just a quick demonstration. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, 10 revolutions forward, but then we'll reverse it quickly, go 10 revolutions backwards, and we're gonna switch sides, okay? So again, we're sitting up nice and tall, left foot picks up off the ground, right arm extended out to the side, 10 revolutions forward, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 opposite direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Hold. We're going to throw right back to center. Good job, everybody. Now, we're going to take our right foot, pick it up off the floor. Knee is elevated. Left arm extend out to the side. 10 revolutions forward. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Opposite direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Relax, bring everything right back in, take a deep breath in. Now, if you want to make that a little bit more challenging for you, you can actually do the exact same thing, but challenge yourself by having your eyes closed, head and eyes looking straight ahead, okay? That way you're starting to rely upon the feedback essentially from your muscle tissue, but then also through your tendons as well to let you know what your body's doing within space, okay? So that's a little bit more advanced, so only do that if you feel comfortable. And you don't have to do 10 revolutions, Try it a couple of times to see how your body responds. Now, what we've got, we've got a bonus movement coming up. We're going to do something called a seated skater switch. I know, this is a bonus movement, so if you do not feel comfortable doing this, do not worry about it. But for those of you that want a little bit extra challenge, give it a try, okay? But what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna have my hip at the edge of my chair. I'm gonna keep my left foot down on the ground and I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna extend it out to the side. I'm gonna to try to get a relatively good reach with my heel to the right side of my body. Now, what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna start with my right hand down here at my left ankle, and we'll have my left arm out to the side. What's gonna end up happening here is I'm gonna basically do a switch. So I'm gonna pull my right foot in, I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, left leg goes out, left hand goes towards my right ankle, my right arm goes out to the side, okay? So let's try that again. We're gonna pull the left foot in, sit up tall, arms come to center, right foot goes out to the side, right hand goes to the left ankle, left arm reaches behind us. So when we start going through our full movement, it's gonna start looking like this. We're gonna get a little bit of forward torso lean as we're going through our movement here, okay? Now, we're going to do the best job we possibly can. What we're going to do is we're going to try to get 10 switches per side. So if you start getting discombobulated with it, do not worry about it. It is completely fine. It's one of those things that you start working on practicing it because it does take a little bit of coordination. Okay. So again, we're going to start off in our setup position here. Right foot extended to the side. I'm going to have my right hand reaching towards my left ankle and my left arm is back behind my body. Okay. So we're going to go through our very first switch. So we're going to switch. One, switch, one, switch, two, switch, two, switch, three, switch, three. Good work, everybody. Switch, four, switch, four, switch, five, switch, five, switch, six, switch, six. Good job. Switch, seven. Switch seven, switch eight, switch eight, switch nine, switch nine. Last time here, switch 10 and switch 10. Sit up nice and tall, bring everything back to good vertical posture here. Relax those hands on top of your thigh, take a deep breath in. Good job, everybody. So every single move that you just perform. Those are all movements that are help designed to work on the muscular strength for balance, but then also body awareness within space. Good job. Some of those moves may be a little bit challenging for some, they may be relatively easy for others, but the main thing is you wanna keep on practicing those movements because it's only gonna enhance your current ability. Okay, that's the whole entire idea is make sure that you're working on continuing to improve your balance. Now again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through our cool down, and this is gonna consist of some stretches here. So when everybody bring your hip up a little bit closer to the edge of your chair, we're gonna have our feet. So our heels are directly underneath our knees. Knees are gonna be about hip width apart. We're gonna start by going into our hamstring stretch. So I'm gonna take my left heel, extend it forward. I'm gonna have my left arm come out in front, but I'm gonna have my right hand go on top of my left. I'm sitting up tall, good posture. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach forward, get to a point I feel I can't move forward anymore. 
bring my hands down towards my leg and try to lean into the stretch. This way we're making sure that we're not getting a rounding of our lower back and we're getting all the stretch coming from our hamstring. We're gonna be here for about 20 seconds for this stretch, so just sit here and kind of enjoy it. Try to keep those muscles relatively relaxed as best as possible. Good job, everybody. Got about 10 seconds left, we're almost there. Keep holding the stretch. Now, if you start feeling for whatever reason, those muscles are starting to kind of seize up back out of the stretch. They may be getting a little bit overstretched. Now, go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Good vertical posture here. Pull that left heel in. Right heel goes forward. We're gonna have that right arm reaching out, left hand on top. Again, we're gonna reach forward and then down towards our foot. Reach it only as far as you feel comfortable. Good job, good job. So the flight for my left foot, when I reached out, I wasn't reaching for my toe, I was reaching down a little bit more towards my ankle. My left hamstring is a little bit more tight than my right one was, so what I did was I kind of compensated. But it's one of those things where now I know that I need to work on that stretch a little bit more in that left leg. And again, we're just holding here tight for about 20 seconds. We're almost there. And sit up nice and tall, good vertical posture, deep breath in, right heel pulls in. Good work, everybody. Now, we're gonna keep our hip relatively close to the edge of the chair. If you wanna back your hip off about midpoint, that's okay. We're gonna open our feet up so they're just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're now gonna work on our external obliques, okay? And we're gonna get a good stretch for our lats and those external obliques. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our arms down to the side of our chair. And if you have arms on your chair, again, you can actually utilize those as a balance support if you need to. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right hand, we're gonna bring it here above our shoulder. We're gonna take that arm, we're gonna reach it up towards the ceiling. And as we do so, we're gonna get our torso lean to the left just a little bit. Now, as you can see, I have my right hand going up above my head, and I'm acting like I'm reaching towards the left side wall. I'm gonna hold this stretch here for about 20 seconds again, feeling a nice stretch from my armpit all the way down to the top of my head. Now, as we go through this stretch and those muscles start to get tired, we don't wanna have it where we start to lean forward we want to continue to let our torso lean to the side. Good job, everybody. We're almost there. About five seconds left. And sit up nice and tall, relaxing that arm. Good job. Now we're going to have our left arm come up. We're going to lean to the right. Left arm's reaching over our head, reaching towards that right side wall. And then again, as we're starting to lean, our body's to either the left or the right hand side. We want to make sure that our hip stays nice and flat on our seat. We don't have it where we shift our weight to one side of the hip. Good job, everybody. Keep it up. Keep it up. You got about five seconds left. And again, sit up nice and tall, relax that arm. Good job, everybody. Now, the next move that we're gonna do is what it's gonna do is called a chest opener, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna do one of two things. You can either take your fingertips and put them behind your head or you can take your fingertips and put them on the top of your shoulders, whatever you feel is comfortable for you. What I'm gonna do for myself is I'm gonna take my fingertips, I'm gonna put it gently behind my head, I'm gonna lift my elbows up high, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about my elbows going backwards and pushing to the wall behind me. As I do so, I'm thinking about my chest lifting up towards the sky, and I'm gonna feel a good stretch through my arms, through my shoulders, and but mainly through my chest. And do not hold your breath with this. Continue to breathe normally in through your nose and out through your mouth. Again, this stretch we're going to hold for about 20 seconds here. Good job. We're almost there. Got about five seconds left. And relax. Bring those elbows in. Let those arms drop down. Good work, everybody. Now, I've got one more stretch that we're going to go through. When everybody interlock your fingers for me, we'll turn our thumbs down, open our palms out, and we'll press our hands forward. We're gonna to try to get a straight line from our shoulder all the way down through our wrist. And once we've got those arms extended, I want you to reach forward just a little bit more. Let that upper back round forward just a little bit. Good job, everyone, good job. Again, we're just gonna hold the stretch here for a few seconds. This one we're gonna go for about 15 to 20 again. Now we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Rotate those palms back in. And we're gonna open those arms up out wide to the side. Now, as we open those arms up wide to the side, I have my fingers spread out nice and wide. This helps us get a little bit better stretch going through our arms, but mainly through our chest again. And as you can see, I also have my hands just lightly below the height of my shoulder. 
I want everybody to take a collective deep breath in. We're going to take those arms and we'll wrap them around ourselves, give a nice big squeeze, and relax. All right, everybody, good job today. Again, this program is called On Balance, and the whole entire main focus of this is working on our body's center of mass, controlling it within space, but then mainly working on those muscles to help them get nice and strong so we can have better balance. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you soon.